Friends, last week I asked you to do suggestions about the topic for the next episode of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. I've received a lot of comments, thank you very much for it, especially to Francine, who came up with the idea of Beethoven and his love for nature. And indeed, that plays a very important role in his music and his life, and in this episode, episode 31, Bird Watching with Beethoven. From last week's episode, Beethoven went on retreat to Heiligenstadt in 1802, a small town just outside Vienna. And Francine commented on the video and she said that if you visit the museum there, the house where Beethoven used to live in Heiligenstadt, you shouldn't forget to also visit the Beethoven Gang. It's just about eight minutes walking from um, the house where Beethoven wrote the Heiligenstadt Testament. And now it's a small park with a statue of Beethoven and a beautiful view over Vienna. And that place was a place where Beethoven really, really loved to walk himself regularly. Now, walking in nature was part of Beethoven's daily routine. In the morning, he would wake up pretty early, uh, have his coffee with 60 beans, remember, and then immediately start working until the afternoon. He'd have his lunch and then would go on a long, afternoon walk. And those walks were very important for Beethoven because it gave him lots of inspiration for his music, which you sometimes can really literally hear, especially for instance in his sixth symphony, the Pastoral. Pastoral refers to a genre in arts that idealizes life in the countryside. Pastor in Latin means shepherd. Beethoven gave his sixth symphony this title because indeed it is a celebration of life in nature. The symphony consists of five movements which all also have their own title, uh, which seems to describe what the music is about. For instance, the opening of the symphony, which you just heard, the beginning of the first movement, it has as title, Awakening of Cheerful Feelings on Arrival in the Countryside. Now, these kinds of subjects, these kind of literal themes for writing music became very popular in the 19th century, and it is what we now call programmatic music. Beethoven claims, though, that this isn't programmatic music. He has the intention of expressing feelings instead of descriptions. But in the second movement, he literally quotes three birds. A nightingale, a quail, and a cuckoo. These three birds are specifically named by Beethoven in the score. So next to the notes, he writes nightingale, quail and cuckoo. But there seems to be another bird in the symphony. During one of his walks with biographer Anton Schindler, Beethoven would have said that together with the nightingales, quails, cuckoos and yellow hammers, he would have written the second movement of this symphony. Anton Schindler then asked Beethoven, but why didn't you quote the yellow hammer in the score? On which Beethoven said that he actually did with this motif in the flutes representing the yellow hammers.
It's funny, right? How nature can inspire a composer. But this motive cannot have been a yellow hammer. Say what? A yellow hammer might have been the inspiration, though, for the opening of the fifth symphony. That's much closer to how a yellow hammer sings. And scholars argue that this motive of the sixth symphony might very well have been a blackbird. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not really a bird watcher myself uh, and I don't really uh, spend my time on uh, uh, arguing on these kinds of things. But if you have the answer to which bird sings this kind of music, do please let me know. As you're invited to let me know what you think of this episode of Beethoven 250 in 52 posts. Enjoyed it? Then please like it, share it with your friends. And if you want to support it, please donate via the link below or subscribe to my channels. See you next week and um, happy bird watching! <laughs>